Hello friends, welcome back. Big Dino plays Kingdom Death, and then this Lantern Year, which will which will be Lantern Year five, six, Lantern Year six. I always forget. We're gonna hunt the Beast of Sorrow. It's absolutely the earliest I've ever hunted a legendary monster. So this guy is soft as butter, hopefully. So um, looking forward to this, uh, we'll, we'll be hopefully um, well enough prepared, but let's have a look at our survivors. Um, we've got uh, Emma, our impermanist, trying to rock that shield proficiency. Ashanti with the bow. Osvaldo with the guitar. And classic Rando, who is wielding the ham fluter and is an osteophage. So I feel we're in okay shape here. Um, Rando can only move in a straight line though, which is not as much fun as it sounds, so. Um, looking forward to this, uh, let's nip over here. So the legendary monsters, uh, Beast of Sorrow, he has Cunning, Trample, Weak Spot, Indomitable. So Indomitable means he stands up, Weak Spot means he's minus four toughness from the rear. Uh, cunning means he runs away uh, if there's dudes that are next to him, and Trample is if he runs over someone, they take damage equal to monster level, which is level four, by the way, so pretty punishing. Um, we use a level three white line setup, and that's it. 10 basic, five advanced, one legendary. So we'll nip over to the white lion page. Here it is. We'll depart on a hunt, level three, so he's all the way back here. Um, Take the biscuit. I don't know why I'm shuffling resources. You need to be shuffling these, you bookhead. <laughs> uh, all right, we do have a herb gathering um, now. We have a, a bone sickle, so we're going to do the bone sickle uh, here. Um, for herb gathering, and that will be that. Um, and everything else is the same. So, uh, we'll just nip over here and you can see the, uh, the setup that we've got. Um, yeah, so the round leather shield and the raw hide. Ashanti's rocking out with a leather set and the cat gut bow. Uh, Osvaldo, uh, lion beast guitars. And then Rando is probably going to be our main swinger with the cymbals or the ham fluter. Um, Rando's probably going to try and do everything. Cool. Um, let's, let's just confirm we've got everything. So Insanity's good on those ones. Yeah, no Insanity on them. So we need to get something for that. Let's depart. We have a Lion in Heat. All survivors suffer one brain event damage. One, 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 one. Here, a white lion cub. I think we will stab the baby. Um, I'm just going to fix something that's annoying me on that screen. It's better. All right, stab the baby. So each survivor gains one random basic resource. If they do, roll on the table below. That's an eight. Nothing happens. Free random basic resources for killing a baby. Love juices would be good. Um, okay, so the skull is good. We do need bones. We'll give that insanity to Osvaldo. A scout hunt event. Nice. I don't need a scout hunt event. <laughs> I don't have scouts. <laughs> Go on, Dino. 
That's a shame. That would have been exciting. Bone eaters, we are not on Lantern Year 8. So what happens? Uh, nothing. Random hunt event. 36. On the trail, the survivors rush forward to move begins the showdown. We do not get to ambush, so we just skip that one. We move to this one here and we get ourselves a prowling lion. The lion moves back to the very end and he starts with ground fighting in play. We do have a bow, which is good. Overwhelming darkness. <sighs> um, so, someone ignores overwhelming darkness, I think. No, okay. Uh, I just remember we've got to do a couple of things because we've got the Armorsmith's Tongs. So, Osvaldo has Selfish, so he has a survival token when he departs. And when he departs, he gains plus one to all hit locations. Um, Rando, he's fine. Ashanti is losing all of her survival because she's an optimist. She's an optimist prime. And that's it. And then Emma... Emma is fine. Yep, that's it. Cool. So overwhelming darkness, yep. So uh, the first person will be Emma. She rolls a one. Let's lose a courage. Spend all your survival and gain a population. She's gonna lose a courage. We can't save. You can't save everyone, guys. <laughs> Or do we save them? Because we're about to gain some survival back from Herb Gathering. And she is... Uh, not sure. What's our population at? We really do need population, don't we? Alright. We'll save everyone. We'll save everyone. What a good bloke you are. Dano. Emma, what a nice person you are. Uh, it can be a male, and their name is Rick. Uh, cool. Uh, next person, Ashanti also rolls a one. She can't spend survival, uh, so she has to lose a courage. Boo. Next person rolls a ten, gains the leader fighting art, Osvaldo. So he will roll on the thing to avoid gaining leader. He rolls a seven, which means he gains a loomy. And our last person is Rando, which is everyone else gets an evasion, or sorry, a survival. And that's a good outcome for us. And he gets a minus one evasion. Done. Herb gathering. Uh, first of all, everyone gains a survival. And then we will roll on the herb gathering table. Uh, so that's nothing for the first one. Six and seven is 13, 15, so 25. Plus nothing. Uh, 40. 40 for herb gathering is just gain a survival, I think. Gain a fresh acanthus, all survivors gain a survival. Mmm. It's alright, but would have liked a little more. And then we roll the dead warrior. Do we want to gain black guard secret fighting art? No, we're fine. 
uh, roll a random hunt event. 35. Broken Lantern Oven. Okay, so this is the survivors coming across the shattered ruins. Settlement already has this innovation. Uh, we do, we gain a broken lantern basic resource from the remains. Done. We do not want to send someone in. I don't think. Can't quite read that one, so let's go and have a look at 35. Two vermin resources of your choice on a 6 plus. Otherwise, you gain apathetic. That is a tough. That is a tough play. <laughs> Two vermin would be good for our verminists. Uh, who is? Who doesn't care about apathetic? Rainbow is not gonna really care about that if he's using. Frenzy and getting rid of directional dyslexia would be okay. Uh, sure, we'll do. We'll do rando. See if he can roll six plus. He can. So two vermin resources of our choice, actually. Uh, crab spider. Crab spider. That was an unnecessary risk, Benno. <laughs> Scratching grounds. We will investigate with everyone. So we will start with Emma. Ooh. Emma rolls a five. Nothing happens, but she gains a courage. Is that right? Yeah. Ooh. She's got to investigate, doesn't she? No, someone's got to investigate. That might be a big whale. Gain a courage. Ashanti, gain a courage. Roll a five, nothing happens. Osvaldo, gain a courage. Roll a five, nothing happens. He gains bold, he's prepared. The bold roll is a six. Gain one understanding, which means he also gains explore, which means we gain a seed pattern. Which is a lucky cat fang knife. Very cool. Alright. Uh, which then triggers an insight roll. Which is a nine. Gain of permanent accuracy. Osvaldo. You're my guy. Uh, Rando. Gains a courage and rolls a two. Suffer one event damage to the arms. Hope you'll be okay, Rando. Next one here is Aromatic Breeze. Moves the white line one space forward. So he goes back to where he was. We roll a random hunt event. Zero two. Corpse. All survivors are overcome by a sudden chill. Uh, so all survivors lose monster level survival. That is an awful, awful roll. Monster level is four. Oh. Terrible, we're not going to be able to do any dashes. Um, we gain a random basic resource. Oh, that's punishing. Our last one is a random event. We roll 24.
food from the mouths of others. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. So we're back up to Emma. Emma gains one courage. She rolls a bold roll. She rolls a nine. Come on. Permanent strength. Uh, Lynette Revealer investigates. So she has investigate, doesn't she? And she gets to add. No, she's got analyze. That's a four. That was nothing. It was just a trick of the lantern light. We've made it to the showdown. Which is good. Uh, but we have no, no survival. So we have a Faces. No, we have an Impermanence, an Optimist, a Survivalist, and a Marrowist. Fortunately, our Survivalist is going to have a little bit of survival to play with. Okay, um, so we do our setup just the same, I believe. Legendary Monsters, El Shem. So, use White Line setup for terrain, use White Line victory, great. So we get a Tall Grass and we will also get Two random terrain cards. Would love to see some acanthus here. Extra. Oh, we'll, we'll say that's our tall grass because I haven't pulled that out yet. Yes. A giant stone face is amazing, by the way. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, so we have ground fighting starting in play. We have 10 basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We have five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And we have one a legendary. We're good to roll. So I'll whip back over here. So I've got that legendary monsters page open. So we'll just double check. 10, 5, 1, 7 speed, toughness 13, plus 1, plus 1. And use white line victory, plus 1 iron strange resource. That's it. Plenty of resources over here, friends. Okay. Uh, we're good. So, uh, ground fighting is in play, so he does not draw AI cards. So we will harvest an Acanthus here uh, on Emma. And she rolls a 1. Suffer 1 arm damage. Great. Uh, and this one's going to go into a position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, and then everyone else will stand still, and Emma will check that one out. She rolls a 4. Nothing happens, archive is terrain, terrible starts. She'll move to there. All right, now we can actually start to play the game. <laughs> okay. Now we can actually shoot the bow after we've splashed around. Uh, two perfect hits, sure. The beast ear and the beast maw. Um, Toughness 13 is problematic, so we need a 9 to wound with the bow, so that's a 1, which is a failure. He jumps backwards. That's okay, though, because we're still in range, because we've got plus 2 range. And this one, 
the roll of nine. So we don't fail, we do a wound, and we proc ground fighting off of there. Uh, Emma, one, two, three, four, five, into the side. She will swing with the bone blade. No, she'll swing with the shield. Uh, we'll go bone blade at this point. Uh, Emma rolls a perfect hit. Uh, and she has no accuracy, so she rolls two hits. She flips a failure reaction. And a wound reaction. So Emma is critting on nines. There is no thingy wound. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, it's a wound and not a crit uh, because she has plus two strength until the end of the attack. Uh, so she goes to seven and eight is 15. So that's a wound. And then this one, that's a critical. The white line is knocked down, but we don't have any benefit from that, unfortunately. Uh, we'll put our osteophage guy there. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Lion Beast Katars. Actually, we can dash and surge with this. No, we can have surge. Derp. <laughs> the Katars on Osvaldo. Two misses. That's the end of our turn. The lion flips combo claw, the closest threat in facing and in range, and that is Osvaldo. So he moves. Uh, um, actually, we don't want that. We want him to be the threat because Osvaldo can't dash away. Emma can't dash away either, actually. So we'll make it her. So she will spend a survival to dash to there. Shanti. That's her only opportunity to do that. Great. So now we can go ha ham with everyone for one turn. Uh, Emma, one, two, three, four, five, into the rear. She'll swing with the shield, round with the shield. She rolls an eight is a hit and a five, which is not. Uh, oh, this is big. You can get a survival out of this. So her strength is three, plus the shield is four, which is seven, plus plus two strength from attacking with a fail weapon. She rolls a seven. That is a wound. If she has three understanding, she gains a survival. Done. Uh, our frenzied, no, our Lion Beast guitar in the rear. Six is a hit. There is a failure reaction here, but we are wounding on a two plus and critting on a nine, or critting on an eight rather. Uh, that's a wound. Make it a failure reaction. One, two, three, four for the ham fluter. So the ham fluter Rando is rolling four speed on the ham fluter. Symbols. Miss. Miss. Hit. Hit. Two hits from the razor symbols. Uh, I'm actually better off doing the hand fluter because he's got club proficiency, so I'll do the club. Right in the ding dong. 
that's a wound. Uh, actually, I should check that. It says he is not in the rear. Hand fluter six and four. So that is not a wound. Yep, that's a shame, Benno. And this one, a nine, which is a wound, which is good. Not a critical. Okay, so Rando gets his club point. Osvaldo gets his guitar point. Ashanti has her bow point and Emma has her shield point. Uh, Emma is going to... Not Emma rather, I should say. Ashanti has the bow. Um, Swing a fist and tooth, I guess. No hits. Great. Once his turn. Size up. A random threat in field of view. So it's one to five. It is classic rando. So he turns to face rando. Uh, on a four plus. Yep. Rando suffers four brain damage and is knocked down. Uh, and then at the end of his turn, he is going to proc the cunning. If there are any adjacent survivors, target one at random and full move away. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reroll nines. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's Emma. So, Emma takes monster level damage to the body, which is four. And losing that survival has really impacted our ability to do this. Um, and then moves away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's the end of his turn. She is knocked down, but we can fist bump to stand her up. And I think we will do so. And that will be from Osvaldo. Cool. All right. We're traveling all right for wounds. Uh, Osvaldo, I'll actually fist bump. Rando. Uh, do we need to fist bump Rando? Yeah. Randolph fist bump her. Oh, we don't have fist bump dinner. What are you talking about? It's not silent language. We have to encourage. <laughs> fist bump. Standing up, standing up. Okay, so our best play here is for Ashanti to move out of range. For this guy to move out of range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This guy to move out of range and for her to move into the rear. She will swing with the bone blade in the rear. She rolls one hit and she hits the straining neck. Come on, Emma, kill him, kill him. It's a critical. Oh my God, if I roll a 10 here, he's dead. Oh. It's a wound. The end of our turn. He flips. Bat around. The closest threat in facing and in range. The closest threat in field of view. So it's one of these people. He moves over to here. And that is the end of that. Okay, so. Uh, unfortunately. We could go like this, actually. That would be better. Yeah. So Emma will move into the rear again. Swing with the bone blade again. Hits no times. That's pretty bad, Deno. 
Uh, osteophage with the razor symbols. Uh, let's do that off there. He'll go to there. Razor symbols. Five is a miss. One is a miss. One is a miss. Eight is a hit. <laughs> Impervious. Good O. Does nothing. That's a shame. Um, do we... One... Two... Yeah, I think we'll go there. And then we shoot the bow. Do we shoot the bow? Single shot on the bow, I guess. Hits. Now, someone's got a luck bonus. Man, I hope that was Emma. Uh, five's not a win. Neither a nine. That's it. His turn. Unfortunately, we're going to have the closest threat in facing, which is our osteophage. Uh, three speed hitting on a two plus. Uh, three hits. Waste body body. One, two, one, two, one, two. Confident he also had that. And I'm confident that he rolled a single perfect hit. Uh, at the end of his turn, uh, he's going to run away. Uh, any adjacent survivors target one at random. Uh, Emma's going to dash. She doesn't gain it back. That's unfortunate. Monster's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Face down rando. Uh, Rando oh, suffers damage to the boots. One, two, three, four. That's it. So we will fist bump Rando with Osvaldo. Rando is going to walk one, two, three, four, five into the rear and uh, swing with the razor symbols. So the first one misses, the next one hits, next one misses, next one hits. So two hits. We'll do it in this order. So two pluses. That's a critical wound and a random white lion resource and a minus one movement token. That's actually really, really impactful. Great cat bones. Uh, we actually would have preferred a critical the other way, uh, but instead we will do a wound. And then the attacker suffers one brain damage. And perform basic action targeting the attacker. Don't think they did the wound. Did I do either wound? I don't think they did. Basic action targeting the attacker. Uh, two hits. Head and body. One, two. One, two. And that's it. Um, well, at this point, she's going to get onto here. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and dash one, two, three, four, five into the rear. And swing with the guitars. Two hits. Come on. Yeah, there's two failure reactions here, but. He's already wounded the monster once. So 
We haven't rolled any perfect hits, so we'll attempt to uh, critical on an eight. That's not a critical, but it is a wound because uh, this guy's only a toughness nine. Fine. And that one, critical, not a critical, but it is a wound. Not a lot of cards left. Six wounds. It's our turn. Bat around, closest threading face against our osteophage. Accuracy is five plus. So it goes to six plus. So one hit to the boots and four brain damage. And that's it. Uh, he is then going to target a random survivor, one to five. Yep, it's going to run away from us. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Suffering four damage to the boots. Uh, so that is a severe injury roll on the boots for our rando. A six. Torn Achilles tendon. Knocked down. You cannot... Yep, skip the next hunt. Okay. All right, it's our turn. We'll go to here. We need him to be the target. We'll go to here. Uh, yep. And who, who's got survival left? Who's got a survival? I think I dashed with that. Osvaldo. Do we fist bump up? Yeah, we fist bump him up. Stands up, he'll move to the rear. He'll actually go first. Raise the symbols. No, no, yep, yep. No, we don't want to fail here. Uh, we're critting on, not that, but that's a wound because of the Blind spot, rear, and that's a wound. Into here. We are really running low on cards now. Uh, Limebee's guitar, seven and a perfect hit. Osvaldo. The trap. All right, well, it had to come at some point. Uh, perform basic action targeting the attacker. Cool. One, two, three. Singing flute. Uh, so, this guy is not going to suffer any damage from this at all. Uh, the basic action says... Uh, Three speed, hitting on a three plus. Uh, two damage each, which goes down to one damage. So he's taking one hit because it's the, got the hat. So he's taking one damage to the waist. That is all. Okay.
Uh, do we try and yeah, one, two, three, four, five into the rear. Fist and tooth, no hits. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it is the monster's turn. Eclipse, ground fighting. <laughs> cool. All right, so that's in play. Uh, this is interesting. So we're going to spend us um, an attack with our dude with the katars. Jump up onto there, jump into there. No, jump to there, guitars will go to there. All right, so we'll just hold for a turn or two, move everyone around into position. It's only when you spend a surge. So the guitars will spend the surge. Before resolving the action, the monster attacks with plus two speed. So that is a five speed attack. <coughs> So hits three times. That's reduced down to two, thanks to um, the seeing cap. And takes one to the waist, one to the body because of the armor smith's tongs. And now we'll attack. <laughs> two hits. You strike at the monster's throat. And there, uh, critting on a seven, uh, a four. Now he's just turned around, so that just means that he is not wounding that easily anymore. Didn't roll a perfect hit, rolled two sevens. Uh, and so four and four is eight, not enough. We really need to crit this one. Yeah, critical. The white line is knocked down and discard one mood in play. So the knockdown doesn't matter, but Emma will move around to fight him in the rear. She'll swing with the bone blade. She hits twice. Uh, he, oh, sorry. He's not knocked down because he stands up from Indomitable, so she hits once. Uh, now, Emma might have, no, not Valdo, Emma, Emma might have something going on here which could be cool. So she has uh, plus one luck to a wound attempts on hit locations with a persistent injury from the breaking point. So that is fun. And she's got plenty of strength, so... That's a wound, but not a critical. Uh, our directional dyslexia guy cannot get anywhere. So, do we shoot the bow? Yeah, we shoot the bow. Two hits, one, two. Uh-oh, need to get a critical here. Come on, critical. Oof, you'll love to see that. It's a wound, but it's not a critical. Uh, and so Ashanti can wound. No, she fails to wound. That's a real shame, so... Shanti. She's got her bow. She's got nothing else going on. No. Nah. Osvaldo. Cool. All right, so he's doing reflex, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Osvaldo is knocked down, unfortunately, 
and he takes four damage to the body. And then the monster is going to, we'll, we'll use uh, that one. Yeah, we'll use our thing from Rando to stand him up and courage. It's the monster's turn. He does basic action on Osvaldo. Uh, hits twice. Yep. One of those is ignored. One damage to the head. Then he's going to do a grab. Ah, oh, don't roll the body, Dano. Spear injury roll on the body for Osvaldo. Rolls a one. Osvaldo has to use his re-roll. Why do I keep failing with these survivalists, eh? Lantern 10. Nice. Uh, you're knocked down. The lion then runs away. Osvaldo stands up and runs around um, uh, after being encouraged again. And then he has two chances to end the fight. He rolls one hit. Hits the knee, and he needs to roll two plus. He rolls a critical instead. Yes. Uh, that was challenging, to say the least. Uh, it wasn't from the attacks, though. It was from the grab and having no dash, no survival to spend, so... Okay, we gain an iron, and Osvaldo gains a random fighting art. Let's see what Osvaldo picks up. Picks up Thrill Seeker. Thrill Seeker can be pretty good, uh, but we will just vaultless that and gain ourselves a loony. Uh, and so we get an iron... Eight of these. Four basic, eight white lion, one elder cat teeth, strange resource. And I think we get a black lichen as well. Every time you fight a level three, you get a black lichen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nice. Basics, we get four. One, two, three, four. Manage departing survivors. All right. No, we shall complete the showdown. We gain two hunt XP. We get survivalism, marrowism, and impermanism. We advance to you when returning, and we are going to have plenty of endeavors to spend for... I just realized I didn't do that on there. That's done. Uh, we got Ipe Cat. We got Perfect Dog and Monster Hide, Monster Hide, Question Mark, White Fur, Ipe Cat, White Fur, Shimmery Mane, Golden Whistles, Lion, Pussy's Lion, Claw, White Fur. Plus an iron. Plus I think you get a black lichen for level 3 monsters. Can't remember. One weapon proficiency level. Could be good. And elder cat teeth. I'm going to go and put these in straight away. So we'll do our iron strange resource. Uh, basics. Vermin, Basics, Fresh Acanthus, at last, at last we can spend a, get a dried Acanthus, Elder Cat Teeth, boom, White Lion, so, White Fur, Eye of Cat, White Fur. Shimmering Mane, Golden Whiskers, Lion Testes, Lion Claw, White Fur, Great Cat Bones. Uh, 
Oh, and I just remembered why I did this. Golden whiskers, shimmery mane, white fur, eyes shut, white fur, iron core, great chart bones. Yeah. Um, we also get an overgrown dew claw the first time you face a level three. Uh, because I have the long claw Lenore um, chick coming out. Uh, out to me in the mail right now. Indomitable Survivor Long Claw Lenore, which is very, very cool. Uh, basics. Another perfect organ. Wants to hide. Wants to hide. Question mark. Wants to hide. Perfect bone. Wants to hide. Skull. Organ. No love juice. And two vermin, I took two crab spiders. Could have eaten those for survival, by the way. Uh, I'm sure we had a hissing cockroach. Crab spiders. I don't think we ate it. All right. If the settlement has Saga when they defeat it, gain two. First time the settlement the survivors that dealt the killing blow gains plus one permanent accuracy and plus one strength. Was that all? Good work, Osvaldo. When did the monster? You know what time it is. It's everyone's favourite time. It's the most painful and nerve-wracking experience which I'm voluntarily choosing. <laughs> Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the honey sauce. Taste the goodness of that honey sauce. One, two, three. And we have a dark seamstress. Nice. Don't think we're going to do anything from there. Means we just have hooded knight. Uh... I'd prefer Hooded Knight not to be a bad one, but <laughs> the mysterious agenda. Uh, we roll on mysterious agenda. We roll four. We do not wish to do anything about that. So, one, two, three, four. We have a Hooded Knight again. That's all of our story events. So, we gained a two bonus endeavors this year, which is very nice. Gonna be able to clear some of those disorders. Okay, we will spend a survival, as we'll spend an endeavor to innovate. We're gonna do that right now. Uh, one, two, three. I gotta look into this cat fang knife, actually. Sword beetle. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, uh, what do we want out of our innovations, Deno? Well, let's see what we get and then we can decide what we want. We're definitely going to build the long claw and all Qatar. All right. Now, partnership would normally be one I'd be like, oh, partnership, but because we have an optimist now, that's a reasonable option. Face painting is almost certainly what we'll take. I retract my comment.
four uh, terminus innovations. Take Clan of Death. Interesting. I would have taken any one of those. I would have happily taken any one of those. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to add this lucky cat fang knife into the patterns deck. And I'm just going to check, did I get a second insight? Osvaldo, Ashanti, Big Whale, Emma. So that's four, five. So I should have five. I have five. Cool. All right. So I need to look at the Lucky Cat Fang Knife. The Mighty Bone Axe will probably get a look in. The lucky cat fang knife could be getting a start here. That looks fun as. Mmm. What does it need? We need a sword beetle. I was almost going to choose a sword beetle, you know, but I didn't. Mm. I really want to take that. <laughs> really want to take that. It gives deadly three. Just critting on. No, 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 no. All right, well, the Mighty Bone Axe, however. Uh, is very achievable. One Bone Axe, one Bone, one Organ. Yep. Okay. Uh, what were we looking to build? Build a barber surgeon for three organ and a hide using an endeavor. Oh, we need to do out our things and we need to do our other things. So let's do that. Three organ and a hide. Won't be using those. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. One, two. Oh, we need to make the eye cat thing as well. Okay, I'm going to craft, first of all, Cat's Eye Circlet, done. We may not even use it that much, but while I've got it, we'll do it. Um, and then we have to trash. Did I already trash the organ? I think I did. Okay. Uh, I'm going to flip out my knowledge cards, first of all. And then I'm going to do my ponders. Don't want strength training. Positivity I don't really want either. Death Collector 3. All right. Positivity at level 1 is not too bad, particularly on someone who is not a... Optimist. Uh, okay, so that's those. So now we will do some pondering. Survivalism. Impermanism. Marrowism. Rando. 
Ferrando leveled into Narrowism. Level two. Consumer bone resource. We've got plenty. Uh, consumer perfect bone. Do we have collective cognition 16? No, we do not. Uh, actually, we do. Uh, so we gain a bone resource back. Uh, he gains plus one strength. No, he gains a looming. And he rolls a six. And he's got stone skin and he can consume a bone to gain plus one strength. So we'll do that. Rando. We've already got stone skin, so. Uh, we also need to get these monster knowledges out and get our smog singers one, which is called Relentless. Uh, if anyone gains it, they'll also gain a Lumi. So we'll put that here, over here. Someone gets it, and then we get to give it to someone else. Impermanism. Emma, are you level four impermanism now? Surely not. Absolute beast. Gain a Lumi and roll 1d10. That's a 6. Gain plus 2 strength, plus 1 evasion. Minus 1 evasion and stone wrecker. Stone wrecker. Sounds cool. <laughs> Once per showdown, if adjacent to a stone column, you may spend to lift it as a weapon, archive it, and gain the stone column rare gear. If you still have the gear during the aftermath, archive it. Must depart this lantern here if able. All right. Emma is departing. And our last one is Osvaldo, who's moving into rank two of survivalism. Uh, Osvaldo had to use his lifeline reroll, which is a real shame. Uh, Rolls a two. Gains meat shield. That's okay, I guess. We'll get rid of desperate strike, maybe. Now, our last uh, thing that we need to do, I think, should be meat shield. Okay, so I have to add the pattern for 
long claw. in here I think have I added it Almost by the long core, long core Lenore. Maybe it's already in the strange. What is here? Rare gear, maybe. Uh, there it is. Hang it, it's already there. Okay, so we need an extra iron and we need nightmare training. All right, so we can't craft that. Two iron, two bone, two hide. Okay. So we'll save up our iron. What else have we got? Barber surgeon. Butchery, bone beats, forbidden dance, lantern hoard, leather crafter, all right, so I'm going to make leather because I want to make a iron hunting thing. So there's one, two, three leather. One, two, three. And then let's see what we can craft. I'm going to have a think, friends. So I shall return. All right, friends, here's what we built. We made the mighty bone axe. Uh, we made a scavenger kit. We made a pickaxe. We made the circlet. We made a cat fang knife. We don't have, uh, we're, gonna, we're going for the lucky cat fang knife. We just need to pick up a sword beetle and we've got everything else we, we need there. Got a lucky charm, got a sword beetle, got a broken lantern, cat fang knife, an insane survivor and secretive. So we've got that in play. Um, I built a second round leather shield and we are tapped on bone. We still have four endeavours to spend and so uh, trepanning is a much better way. I made the barber surgeon um, to uh, clear disorders. So we are going to try trepanning on um, our good friend Rando and see if we can clear off... Um, pacifist which would be really impactful so we've got probably four cracks at it um, so we will roll first of all we need a three to six i think gels pacifist gone um, now i want to clear off directional dyslexia <laughs> so we're trepanning with that three to six come on Dano. that's a 10 that's not good <laughs> 10 is expanded consciousness, gain one random disorder and one random fighting art. We don't want that. Rando, we just want you to clear disorders, mate. Indecision, that's not bad. We'll try again. Two, I think that's suffer intracranial hemorrhage. Uh, we'll try again. Seven is clear intracranial hemorrhage, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got rid of pacifist, so that's a positive. We didn't get rid of directional dyslexia, which is unfortunate. Um, lots of cool stuff happened there, friends. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm not sure who we're going to hunt this year. I f my gut feeling is a level three smog singers, maybe. Um, but I am just not sure. Um, plenty, plenty of uh, good stuff coming our way. I'm still tripping balls about this stone column thing. That we can pick up a column and bash people with it. Emma, 
bashing people with columns. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you on the next one. Big Dental out. <laughs>